with the peanuts in a bowl, we need to separate them from the skins. So, grab a handful of peanuts and using your hands, rub them together with the peanuts just in between, letting the skins fall away. Repeat this process until all the peanuts in the bowl are skinless. Next, let's start squeezing the peanuts by clenching our own piece to break them into tiny pieces. Continue this process until all the peanuts are crushed to your desired size, ready for use in our recipe. Then let's get back to our simsim. Once they are thoroughly dry, pour them into a large pot. Place the pot over medium heat and gently heat the simsim for about 5 minutes. Start continuously to ensure even heating and prevent burning. This light toasting will enhance the flavor of the sesame seeds. After 5 minutes, remove the pot from the heat and let the seeds cool before using in our recipe. In a separate pot, pour in half a kilogram of sugar. Place the pot over medium heat and stir continuously as the sugar begins to melt. Be patient and keep stirring to prevent the sugar from burning and to ensure that it melts even. By now, we should start seeing the miraculous transformation of the sugar. It changes from granules from melted goo of a brown like liquid. Keep stirring continuously to ensure an even melt and prevent burning. This smooth amber colored liquid is now ready for the next step in our recipe. As the sugar melts, it will gradually turn into a smooth amber colored liquid. Once fully melted, you can proceed over to the next step.
while the sugar is melting into a beautiful amber liquid let's prepare the sesame seeds and the peanut mixture first we combine ingredients take your bowl of thoroughly dried sesame seeds and the bowl of skinless crushed peanuts pour both into a large mixing bowl using a wooden spoon or spatula gently mix the sesame seeds and the peanuts together ensure that they are as evenly distributed for a balanced flavor in every bite second check the sugar keep an eye on the sugar as it melts you should see it transitioning from granules all the way to a smooth brown like liquid stir continuously to prevent burning and to achieve a consistent texture finally prepare to combine once the sugar has completely melted and reached a smooth amber consistency it's time to combine everything ensure the pot of melted sugar is at a manageable temperature to avoid burning when adding the mixture Now we combine the mixture with sugar. First of all, we add the mixture. Carefully pour the sesame seed and peanut mixture into the pot of melted sugar. Be cautious as the hot sugar can cause splatters. Second, stir thoroughly. Immediate, immediately start stirring the mixture into the sugar. Use a firm steady motion to ensure the sesame seeds and peanut are evenly coated with melted sugar. This process needs to be done swiftly as the sugar will begin to harden as it cools. Third, ensure even coating. Continue to stir firmly until all the sesame seeds and peanuts are well coated with sugar. This ensures that every piece has delightful blend of flavors and textures. It's time to start finalizing your sesame and peanut snack. Now that you are comfortable and you are stirring
it is time to start penalizing your sesame and peanut snack. Now that you are comfortable with your stirring and ensuring that every seed in the pot is evenly coated with melted sugar, we can proceed to the final stage of this recipe. Be prepared as things are about to get quite hot. I suggest having a bowl of cool water nearby just for safety purposes. So let's start it off. With number one, we need to prepare our workstation. So place a large tray of or a baking sheet nearby, lined with parchment paper or lightly greased prevent sticking. Have a bowl of cool water ready to dip your hands if the mixture becomes too hot to handle. 2. Forming the snacks. Wet your hands lightly with cool water to prevent hot, the hot mixture from sticking to your skin. This, whole, this also helps in managing the heat. Scoop a handful of hot sesame and peanut mixture from the pot. Be cautious as the mixture will be quite hot. 3. Shaping the balls. Quickly roll the mixture between the palm of your hands to form a ball shaped snack. Work swift. Be careful to shape it before it cools and hardens. Once formed, place the ball on the prepared tray. Repeat this process as many times as it's is needed for the remaining mixture. 4. Manage in the heat. If your hands start to feel hot, do not hesitate to dip them to dip your hands into the bowl of cool water. This will eventually help in cooling your hands and make the handling process even more comfortable. Rewet your hands as needed throughout the process to prevent sticking and to manage the heat. 5. Continue the process. Continue scooping, rolling, and finally placing the ball on the tray until you have used up all the mixture. Ensure each ball is well formed and placed neatly on the tray to cool and set. Six and the final part cooling and setting allow the formed sesame and peanut balls to cool completely on the tray this will help set and harden into a firm delicious snack once cooled your sesame and peanut balls are ready to be enjoyed these sweet nutty treats make for a delightful snack that's perfect for sharing with family and friends enjoy the satisfying crunch and the blend of flavors in every bite thank you